I am so excited to bring to you the second half of December 2023's Astrology and Angel Card Reading. There is so much. I mean, I have so many pages of notes behind me. It is crazy, 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 crazy. Um, I couldn't even get them all on, so this is going to be like part one and part two, just because it is so, so long, and there's so much energy you're coming, and I guarantee all of us at the end of this will be like, glad it's done, definitely. Even when December's over, we're going to be like, get it over with. So let's get started. Let's get started with December 16th. We have our sun moving into, we have our sun in the sign of Sagittarius, uh, squaring Neptune in the sign of Pisces. And so squares are all about like this, like action oriented, like motivating, like let's push each other to do better. And um, our sun is the sign of our ego and it's in the sign of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is very passionate. And um, I will tell you, it's got a lot of, energy. It's got a lot of luck in it. It's got a lot of energy in there and it's squaring. So it's kind of like trying to find the best way to push these two energies together. Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Neptune is our plant, dreamy planet, all about our dreams, our ambitions, and things that we might want to kind of glaze over. Um, in the sign of Pisces, which is all about our intuition and our imagination. And this is going to be like really expecting like some, um, amazing days during, you know what I'm saying, during the 16th, you may feel even a little paranoid because it's like, kind of like what's coming up next, kind of like that unexpected, like my intuition is telling me there's something there, but I don't know exactly what it is. And we may have uh, trouble today, um, really sorting like fact from fiction, kind of like, are you telling me the truth? Or are you not telling me the truth? And I will tell you, this is not necessarily for us to pass judgment on, but a lot of times we need hard, cold facts to make a judgment. We've got to have those like, I really need to know this. If this really happened, then this. But also understand that each person's story has a, their own side. So whichever story you hear first is usually the one you believe. I know that sounds strange, but it's totally true. But it's one of those, make sure you get the full story from everybody involved before you make your judgment call. So let's do an angel card. And it's this one right here. And... So for December 16th, it's all about manifestation. And I will tell you, this is a great card because we've got some manifesting energy coming up later in December, but this can really manifest us kind of looking for that full story. Like what else can I learn from this information? So that can be a really great one. Now, December 17th, we have no planets in movement at all, um, but let's do an angel card. Let's go the right direction, Ruth. That one right there. Okay. This one is all about listening and kind of like really, really listening, just kind of like yesterday's story. So December 17th is kind of a continuation of that energy of like, really listen to the story, really listen to both sides. Who do you feel like is telling you the truth and who is not? And I've got a great video on that one because I had several people in the last couple of weeks kind of lie to me over things and I'm just like, you're lying to a psychic? Really? I can feel it. I may not understand all of what you're lying about, but I can feel the energy of your lie. So let's go to uh, December 17th. We have Mercury in the sign of Capricorn, trying Jupiter in the sign of Taurus. So a trying is all about like challenging um, the energy um, of kind of like who's going to be better in this area and kind of like this comfortable kind of like energy flow, but like challenging like is this going to be better or this going to be better? Now, once you make your judgment, is it going to fall into place? So Mercury is our planet of communication and all types of communication, mental, physical, and anything else. Emails, texting, all of that, it's all in there. And it's in the sign of Capricorn, which can really be... Um, like driven and very passionate and very logical. Um, so it's kind of like, mm -hmm, and, but it's also in retrograde. So understand that that energy is in retrograde. Um, 
when it trines is Jupiter in the sign of Taurus, which is also in retrograde. Jupiter is our planet of luck, expansion, and growth. And it's in the sign of Taurus, which is kind of like, what is your driven? Like, what is making, what is your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you being so driven about this? So it's kind of like, oh, interesting. Um, this is a great day to plan catch up tasks, things that you've kind of been putting off by the side, um, things that you really haven't been wanting to. But I will tell you, it's going to make an easier start to 2024. So kind of getting out of your own way and kind of starting that, like, what do we need to do next? Where do we need to go next is going to be a very helpful energy um, as we get closer to 2024. So our angel card for December 18th is this one is all about celebrating. And I think that's the fun part. Like when we start celebrating 2024, and it doesn't always mean like doing fireworks and um, going to parties and dancing and all that kind of stuff. Some of it can be the celebration of like getting ready for 2024. 2024 has some amazing energy and I've got videos coming out on that as well. I'm so excited about it. like they are going to be fun, 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 fun. I know. So December 19th, we don't have any planets in movement. So let's do an angel card. Literally, this one right here is just kind of calling my attention to it. The 19th is all about music. And that's all about like kind of getting into the rhythm and moving things forward. But I will tell you, this is a great day to play some music, kind of get into that amazing energy and really kind of get into the flow of what's about to start happening for us as we get closer to 2024. December 20th, we have Vesta, our um, asteroid moving into retrograde in the sign of Gemini. <clears throat> now, Vesta is um, a planet and it's all about like this very nurturing energy. And I will tell you kind of Vesta is one of those planets. It's kind of very much set up like Earth, the way it has like the separation of the mantle, the crest and the um, the core, all of that kind of like energy is very similar to Earth. Um, and it's got some amazing energy. So it's got a lot of similarities to us um, in the sign of Gemini. So Gemini energy is all about being intelligent, kind of thinking things through. Um, so energies are going to be kind of um, anxious a little bit as we kind of deal with this. If Vest is really high in your chart, um, I will say it's going to be kind of like hard focusing on like one task at a time over the next couple of weeks. Self-discipline will really be your best friend and kind of on task as you move through the things that you have to get through. So kind of like it'll, it'll come, it'll get together. Oh, my cards are upside down. I'm going to go with this one because it's the very end. Um, this is all about divine guidance. And this is kind of like a good time when things start moving slow or kind of don't seem like they're going the right direction. This is a great time to kind of like take a step back and what's moving or shifting. And if things don't come easy, sometimes it's a chance to kind of like, why aren't they going easy? Kind of looking at the inside. Why is this problem not moving um, as easy forward? Oh, I forgot that one. Also on December 6th, uh, 20th, we also have... Venus in the sign of Scorpio in opposition to uh, Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Uh, Venus is our planet of love and harmony and staying on task. Um, and it's in the sign of Scorpio. Well, Scorpio is kind of this uh, very passion-driven energy. And it's in opposition, meaning it's going to be like find, trying to find the balance between two opposite things. And Uranus is our planet of like changing, modifying, upgrading energy, kind of like let's move around. And it's in the sign of Taurus, which is still asking us kind of like, what is that energy of like, what do you value? Where do you want to go? What's kind of, what's going to be driving you there? A very interesting energy. While this day is a great day to get um, for our wallets, because um, we're not going to feel like we're going to want to go out anywhere. We're going to kind of feel like let's stay home and take it easy. Um, this is a great day to kind of um, really understand that there's going to be a lot of tension in what's going on. So make sure that you're knowing that that's coming up and make sure that you're kind of really ready for it a little bit. Let's move to December 21st because I've already done the card. Sorry, I forgot that one. So uh, December 21st, Mercury in Capricorn sextile Jupiter, um, Saturn in the sign of Pisces. So Mercury, communication, physical, mental communication. Capricorn is our driven pa planet, uh, very disciplined. Um, in opposition is all about like this 
finding the balance between two different energies and kind of which one's going to be the best one, kind of seeking the growth in this relationship. Um, Saturn is our planet of structure, law, and foundations. Um, and it's in the sign of Pisces, which is all about our mystical, intuitive energy, very creative energy. This positive aspect is great for getting organized and catching up on things. So if you haven't gotten ready for anything else, this is the time to do that. Um, or if you're kind of like falling behind on the holidays, it's the time to catch up. Um, and um, kind of getting the important paperwork out of the way and kind of getting things started is going to really be helpful. And so kind of like putting that rush behind us and kind of getting into the real reason for the holiday, which is to be around our family. first our sun enters the sign of Capricorn this also kind of really conjunct is really in the energy of our winter solstice got a video on that I've got so many videos out right now it's just kind of crazy um so December 21st is the shortest day of the year so the shortest daylight day of the year um and then it's the longest night which is kind of considered the dark night of the soul so I have some videos on that as well um, this is a great day to kind of like think about like what plans you want to make for 2024, the best year of kind of like, what do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? Where do I want to go with things? Um, and yet this is a great day to kind of really think about like, what is our wildest dreams? If we could have anything happen in 2024, what would it be? Our kind of like our dream energy is kind of like, yeah, let's go there. So December 21st, our angel card is this one right here in front. And this is all about new beginnings. I know. So cool. New beginnings because we've got all of this new start. This is basically entering the last sign of 2024 or 2023, getting ready for 2024. And so this is an amazing energy in what's coming up next for what's going on. Okay, let's move to um, December 22nd. <clears throat> we have our sun in Capricorn conjunct um, Mercury in Capricorn and the conjunctions are all about kind of like focusing their energy and kind of motivating each other. So our sun is our ego and Mercury is our communication and they're both in the sign of Capricorn and Capricorn energy is all about being driven and disciplined and really determined. What do I want to create? So this um, Mercury in retrograde really helps us slow down and kind of remember what we want to do, how we want to do things and kind of getting ready for the end of the year and kind of like what are the messages and the cards that we need to write and the check-ins. Like are we checking in on all our family and our friends? Um, and this could also be our clients and our bosses as well. Um, and this is a great time to not necessarily to a network, but it also helps our networking kind of touching base with everybody kind of like, yeah, let's do this. Now, also, right after that happens, a few hours later, we have, on December 22nd, we have Mercury in retrograde entering the sign of Sagittarius, which just means it backed up enough in Capricorn to enter into Sagittarius. Um, and so it's going to kind of feel like, for some people, it's going to feel like, oh, relax, easy going. And then other people are like, oh my gosh, I feel like it just started because it's in two different signs. So be careful about the holiday travel plans that you've made um, with... Um, communications and you know are the family going to be there are you going to get a car ride home blah blah all that kind of stuff is really important um and this is a great day to kind of really think about this it is going to be in Sagittarius for the next few weeks um expect delays make sure that you're planning ahead I've got a video on that one um think about like how can you make your travel plans easier and more fun taking an extra book or a few extra bucks in your pocket to kind of make things a little bit easier it's going to be amazing. So um, December 22nd, I'm going to put this one on top. These are your signs. This is your sign that you've got to be prepared for this Mercury in retrograde. This is your sign that get ahead of the game. It's one of those don't wait until the last second to get prepared for Mercury in retrograde. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you do it really, really soon. But get prepared for your travel plans as well. Don't just kind of like, oh, I'll get to that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We need to make sure that you're prepared in advance for that. That's going to make things easier. 
So December 23rd, we don't have any planets in movement. So we are going to do this one right here because it was popping forward. This is all about spiritual growth. And this is bringing in a lot of spiritual growth for a lot of people. And this is a great time to do an extra meditation and kind of get relaxed before we get into December 24th, which is uh, Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day and all the family events and that sort of thing. So take some time for yourself. This is a great time to do a meditation to calm things down, relax your energy right out. That's going to be an amazing one. December 24th. We have our sun in the sign of Capricorn, sextiling Saturn in the sign of Pisces. And our sun is our ego. Our Capricorn energy is all about kind of that driven, um, determined, disciplined energy in there. And this is sextiling. So sextiles are, are like creative and expansive and kind of like pushing these two energies together and kind of like really molding them for you. Um, and then Saturn is our planet of structure and foundations. And this is all in the sign of Pisces, which is all about kind of like this intuitive flow. So even though those sounds differently, they have a lot of things in common. This is a great, um, helpful one to kind of work strong, kind of getting ready for what we need to do to get ready for our family and our friends to come over and know that this is an obstacle um, as they come up. It's okay to be all right. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to, to get that help from other people, not just like, oh yeah, this is one and done. It depends on one person. No, this is not a one and it's done kind of thing. This is asking for help and telling them ahead of time, like, hey, we're going to need help on this. Or you need to bring a side dish or you need to bring something else. Not always expecting one person to do all of that, uh, that work. Let's go to December 24th. And this is our card for December 24th. Truth and integrity. It is okay for you to be truthful about other people. Like I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to take a break or I'm going to take a walk or whatever it is. And integrity is kind of like standing up for you. Kind of like what is your integrity and what's going on? This can be an amazing event, not only for you, but for other people as well. It's kind of like, yes, let's bring this in. Let's move to December 25th. We have Venus in Scorpio trining Jupiter, sorry, Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Venus, oh, Venus, Venus, Venus. Venus is our planet of attraction and love and harmony, and it's in the sign of Scorpio, which is kind of all about being passionate and driven and sacrificing for others, which is kind of a Virgo kind of energy as well. Trining is um, unchallenged, accepting kind of like that comfortable energy of both of them. Um, in the sign of Nept Neptune, in the sign of Pisces. So Neptune is our planet, dreams, ambition, and kind of like things that we may not always want to work through when we need to work through them. In the sign of Pisces, which is all about our mystical, magical um, energy. And on uh, Christmas Day, this is going to be asking us to receive like luck and love and energy from both sides. And this is gonna be wanting us to really step out of our comfort zone and really look for where do we find the love? Where are the people supporting us? And where are we not asking for support? Kind of like that energy is going to be amazing to ask for. December 25th, our card is setting our intentions. It's okay for you to ask help for help. It's okay for you to kind of um, require other people to kind of step in and help. And I will tell you, it's okay to set that intention of, I may need to take a break. I may need to take a step back for a few minutes. And that is completely okay. If you don't, a lot of times we get so overwhelmed with what's going on around us. We do get a little bit crazed. And sometimes that adds more tension than allowing it to kind of let go and release. 